Good morning and welcome to morning prayer from the Episcopal Church of the Atonement in the Edgewater neighborhood of Chicago. Today is Thursday in the 23rd week after Pentecost proper 25. Um, morning prayer begins in the Book of Common Prayer on page 80, followed by the Venite on page 82. Our Psalms for today are Psalms 144, 145, and 146, and they begin on page 800. Um, our Canticles for Thursday are Canticle 8 on page 85 and Canticle 20 on page 94. I'll announce other page numbers um, and these as we as we come to them during our prayer. Um, let's go ahead and light our candles, which signify for us God's presence as we pray. Let's take a breath, center ourselves, and we'll, we will begin morning prayer. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. Open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. And now we will say Psalms 144, 145, and 146, beginning on page 800. <clears throat> Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands to fight and my fingers to battle, my help and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues the peoples under me. O Lord, what are we that you should care for us? Mere mortals that you should think of us. We are like a puff of wind, our days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains and they shall smoke. Hurl the lightning and scatter them. Shoot out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the hand of foreign peoples, whose mouths speak deceitfully. <clears throat> And, who, and his right hand is raised in falsehood. O oh God, I will sing to you a new song. <clears throat> I will play to you on a ten-stringed lyre. You give victory to kings and have rescued David, your servant. Rescue me from the hurtful sword and deliver me from the hand of foreign peoples whose mouths speak deceitfully and whose right hand is raised in falsehood. May our sons be like plants well nurtured from their youth, and our daughters like sculptured corners of a palace. May our barns be filled to overflowing with all manner of crops. May the flocks of our pastures increase by thousands and tens of thousands. May our cattle be fat and sleek. May, may there be no breaching of the walls, no going into exile. No wailing in the public squares. Happy are the people of whom this is so. Happy are the people whose God is the Lord. Psalm 145. <clears throat> I will exalt you, O God, my King, 
and bless your name forever and ever. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. There is no end to his greatness. <clears throat> One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your power. I will ponder the glorious splendor of your majesty and all your marvelous works. They shall speak of the might of your wondrous acts and I will tell of your greatness. They shall publish the remembrance of your great goodness. They shall sing of your righteous deeds. <clears throat> the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord, the Lord is loving to everyone and his compassion is over all his works. All your works praise you, O Lord. All your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom and speak of your power, that the peoples may know of your power <clears throat> and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all ages. The Lord is faithful in all his words <clears throat> and merciful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open wide your hand and satisfy the needs of every living creature. <clears throat> the Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desires of those who fear him and hears their cry and helps them. The Lord preserves all those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. One moment, please. Psalm 146. <clears throat> Hallelujah, praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not your trust in rulers, nor in the child of earth. <clears throat> For there is no one to help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth. And in that day, their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those who are oppressed, and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. <clears throat> he sustains the orphan and widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, <clears throat> and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the, or the first reading is a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus and selections from chapter 31. <clears throat> Are you seated at the table of the great? Do not be greedy at it and do not say, 
how much food there is. Remember that a greedy eye is a bad thing. What has been created more greedy than the eye? Therefore, it sheds tears for any reason. Do not reach out your hand for everything you see, and do not crowd your neighbor at the dish. Judge your neighbor's feelings by your own, and in every matter be thoughtful. Eat what is set before you like a well-brought-up person, and do not chew greedily, or you will give offense. Be the first to stop, <clears throat> as befits good manners, and do not be insatiable, or you will give offense. If you are seated among many persons, do not help yourself before they do. Do not try to prove your strength by wine drinking, for wine has destroyed many. As the furnace tests the work of the smith, so wine tests hearts when the insolent quarrel. Wine is the very life to human beings if taken in moderation. What is life to one who is without wine? It has been created to make people happy. Wine drunk at the proper time and in moderation is rejoicing of heart and gladness of soul. Wine drunk to excess leads to bitterness of spirit, to quarrels and stumbling. <clears throat> Drunkenness increases the anger of a fool to his own hurt, reducing his strength and adding wounds. Do not reprove your neighbor at a banquet of wine and do not despise him in his merrymaking. <clears throat> Speak no word of reproach to him, and do not distress him by making demands of him. If they make you master of the feast, do not exalt yourself. Be among them as one of their number. Take care of them first, and then sit down. When you have fulfilled all your duties, take your place, so that they may be merry along with them, and receive a wreath for your excellent leadership. Here ends the reading. <coughs> Let us say together Canticle 8, the Song of Moses, on page 85. <clears throat> I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and his rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my Savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand, the earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession. The resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord. <clears throat> the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our second reading is from the Revelation to John, uh, <coughs> chapter 12, verses 7 through 17. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent <clears throat> who is called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of his co our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered, conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of his testimony. 
for they did not cling to life, even in the face of death. <clears throat> Rejoice then, you heavens, <clears throat> and those who dwell in them, but woe to the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows that his time is short. So when the dragon saw that he had been thrown down to earth, he pursued the woman who had given birth to the male child. But the woman was given the two wings of the great eagle so that she could fly from the serpent into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time. Then from his mouth, the serpent poured water like a river over the woman to sweep her away with the flood. But the earth came to the help of the woman it opened its mouth and swallowed the river that the dragon had poured from its mouth. Then the dragon was angry with the woman <clears throat> and went off to make war on the rest of her children, those who keep the commandments of God and hold the testimony of Jesus. Here ends the reading. <clears throat> Let us say together the glory to God, Canticle 20. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. We have a third reading today uh, from Luke, uh, chapter 11, going into chapter 12. When Jesus went outside, the scribes and the Pharisees began to be very hostile toward him and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say. Meanwhile, when the crowd gathered by the thousands so that they trampled on one another, he began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the feast of the be sorry, beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will be uncovered, and nothing secret that will be become that will become known, not become known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light. And what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. Even when the hairs, but even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not, <clears throat> do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you into the synagogues, the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. Here ends the reading. Let us say the Apostles' Creed on page 96, and that will be followed by the Our Father and Suffrages A. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, 
the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day. Almighty and everlasting God, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity, and that we may obtain what you promise, make us love what you command. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you have made of all blood, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off, afar off, and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we come to the prayers for the Church of the Atonement um, for the week of October 27th. Please feel free to add your own prayers as you wish. If you would like me to say them out loud, write them in the chat section, and I will be happy to do so. For the sick, for those in any need or trouble, and for all those who have asked for our prayers, Stephen W., Allison, John, Steve, Jeff, Gregory, George, Rodney and Blanco, Rodney Blanco, Tori, Jonathan, Devon, Killian, Dennis, Becky, former President Carter, Kelly, Gregory, and Janine, Mark, Kurt, Robert, Tony, all who mourn, for Ken, a deacon, John, Elizabeth, Roger, Thomas, and Greg, priests. For an end to war, division, violence, and injustice, especially in the Middle East, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Haiti, Ukraine, Russia, Myanmar, Sudan, and Darfur. And we pray for justice and for an end to violence and discord in our city and nation. For all healthcare workers, <coughs> especially Joseph Basil, Jackie, Jackie, Will, Choi, Erica, Kay, Larry, Kieran, Lee, Carrie, William, Eric, Lisa, Thomas, and Emily, for all families and children in the city and state, and for all prisoners. For members of our military services on active duty, especially Celeste and Nate, and for Scott serving as security in Iraq. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Sean, our presiding bishop, Paula, our bishop, Charles, our rector, Amanda and Dave, our wardens, and for the members of our vestry, for our sister parishes of St. Benedict's and St. Matthew's in Chiapas, Mexico, for all running for public office. <clears throat> for those celebrating <clears throat> birthdays this week, <clears throat> Aaron Johnson and Derek Witherton, Will Harvey and Jared Hancock. 
<clears throat> for the souls of the departed, Terry Gar, Bishop Paul Marshall, Bishop Daphne Smith, Howard Aronson, Barbara Wheeler, Ron Eheman, Phil Lesh, Robert Willis, Dean Emeritus of the Canterbury Cathedral, and Jennifer Ash um, um, adds for the repose of the soul of Kenan Casey. And I will add um, uh, for the repose of the soul of my uncle, Arthur Sharpie, Sharpie who died this week. At the anniversaries of their deaths for Richard Johnson, Phoebe Swinehart, Terry Lee Ashby Sr., Virginia Waters, Howard Hebert, Arthur Tuber, Joe Anderson, Jeffrey Benson, Sidney Farron, Father Sterling Minturn, Jean Elizabeth Sewell, um, Don Powell, and Stephen Yannick. <clears throat> A prayer for peace. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, guide the nations of the world into the way of justice and truth and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We will begin. Um, we will begin. We will. We will continue morning prayer with a general thanksgiving on page 101. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, <clears throat> by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. That concludes morning prayer for this, for this Thursday morning. Thank you for joining us. We'll be here again tomorrow morning and every morning at 8.30 a.m. on Google Meet. Um, in addition to um, morning prayer, we have um, masses today. Today's Mass is at noon on Friday, which is the Feast of All of all Saints. We have um, low Masses at 7.30 and 12 noon. On Saturday, um, All Souls, we have a low Mass of Requiem at 9.15, um, where we pray for our beloved dead, and then a Rosary prayed at 8.30, and there is no healing Mass that day. At 10 o'clock, there's a watch party for the installation of our presiding bishop. At Sunday, then, there's our regular mass of eight masses at 8, 9, and 11. There's a lot going on at church, so do check the e-newsletter or the atonement website to see what else is going on. Okay, that's it then. Thanks again for joining us and praying with us. Um, God bless and goodbye. <clears throat>